Hey everyone, and welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah. Now, particle systems can add an incredible amount of life and juice to your game. Take a look at this simple top-down shooter without any effects. And here's the same game, the only difference being that enemies and projectiles explode and pop when destroyed. Particles can also make your scenes that much more pleasing to watch and explore. From dust to snow to bubbles and smoke, making particle effects is incredibly fun and can change your scene from looking just good to visually stunning. With that said, in today's Unity tutorial, we will take a look at how to make cool 2D particle effects using sprites. So let's start by showering this lonely character with fluffy flowers. Before making a particle system inside of Unity, we must head over to our 2D application, in my case Adobe Photoshop, and draw out our particles visuals. I'll begin by filling up my background layer with some dark colour, and then draw in white my particle. I highly recommend you also paint your design in white so you can then easily edit the colours in Unity. I'll create a fluffy looking flower to match the style of my scene, but of course if you're making a more crisp, cartoon-like creation, take a hard round brush and use that instead. Once I'm satisfied with how my particle looks, I'll save my file inside of my Unity project, and now I can create a brand new particle system. As usual, I'll get these default soft round particles. Let's change this. I'll head over to the Render tab and change my material to Sprite Default. And now I'll enable Texture Sheet Animation. This won't have any effect on our system yet, so let's change the mode from Grid to Sprites, and with that done, I can click here and choose what sprite I would like to act as my particle. Having only made this flower, the choice isn't difficult, and you'll now see that my system is spawning a bunch of fluffy looking white flowers. Awesome. Being white, I can easily select a random between two constants for colors, which will basically let us choose two colors and give each particle a random shade between those two colors. I'll also change the shape of my particle system, choosing edge tweaking its radius, position and rotation so that my flowers smoothly fall to the ground. For this sort of effect, it's great to have the loop box checked and the emission set to rate over time. If you want more particles spawning, all you need to do is crank up this value. However, if you were planning on making explosions or a lightning spark, chances are you wouldn't want those systems looping. So all you would do is uncheck loop time, set the duration to 0.1 seconds, and then set the emission to burst by hitting this little plus sign. Here you can play around with the minimum and maximum amount of particles spawning from your burst. One trick I've noticed when making effects is to add randomness to many of the settings found here. So choosing random between two constants for size, speed and lifetime will often make your effects look a lot better. Randomizing the start rotation of each flower in this case is also nice. And there we go, a cool flower particle effect. I usually don't settle though on making just one particle, but enjoy making a couple of variations, so I can have fun choosing what sprite fits my game best. Now using these same techniques, let's bring this cloud to life. I'll create one or more raindrops in Photoshop, send them over to Unity and then make a new particle system. Once again, changing the material to sprite default and selecting my raindrop. I'll now edit the color, shape and emission so that the rain properly pours down from the clouds. Another cool particle trick is enabling the collisions module setting the type to world and making sure that this is set to 2D. I'll now make a new empty game object called ground and give that a simple 2D box collider that I'll place underneath my cloud. You'll now notice that each individual particle bounces a little when it hits the ground. You can of course control how bouncy your particles are right here. If you don't want any bounce though, you can set the value to zero and perhaps increase this dampen setting. 
Another cool trick to keep in mind is the particles order in layer. This works the exact same as with sprites, so particle systems with a higher order in layer will render in front of particles with a lower order in layer. Alright, here I have another 2D effect, but these falling stars look a little odd when they're destroyed. It's not really smooth and appealing to watch. So another great setting I use to fix this is the size over lifetime. By enabling it, I'll have access to this simple graph, and I can change the look of the graph by clicking these buttons. This one, for example, will scale up each particle over its lifetime. In other words, it will start small and grow larger. In my case, I want my stars going from big to small. You can also add points to this graph by double-clicking on it. For example, let's get this system spawning tiny particles that grow quickly and then slowly scale down. Last trick of the video, the particle system's trail module. This can create some nice, well, trail effects. By default, they'll be ugly and purple, but by simply heading over to Render and choosing a material for the trail material slot, you'll find yourself with an extra cool effect. You can now play around with the ratio, which basically means how many particles will have a trail. A value of 1 means that all particles will have a trail, and you guessed it, Zero means no trail. Most of the settings here, like with the rest of the particle system, are easy to understand and fun to play around with, which I highly recommend you do. Here are a few particle effects I've made and that you can try and replicate using the techniques showcased in the tutorial. I'll also provide a link for you to download this particle effects Unity project and get access to all these cool sprite icons you can then use for your own 2D effects. And that marks the end of the video. It would be awesome if you hit the like and subscribe buttons. It's so appreciated and you'll also get notified of new content released. With that said, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.